Yo, what is going on guys? The Soros Fox here today, bringing you episode 6 of the Juventus Project. Now, since the last episode, where we played Roma and AC Milan, where we lost 5-1 to Roma, beat AC Milan 4-2, we've beat Torino 2-0, beat Cagliari 3-1. So yeah, since we have beat <coughs> Torino and Cagliari, we have won the Serie A for this season. As you can see, Juventus have won it five years in a row. They see Milan, the last team to win it other than Juventus. So as you can see, we're on top of 81 points, 20, 36 games played, 50 goal difference. That's dramatically better than any other team in the league. So in this episode, we'll be finishing the season off. So, yes, we will be finishing the season off playing the games against Napoli and Inter Milan in this episode because Napoli is the last big game of the season, well, second to last game, as our second to last game of the season, but as our last major league game of the season. And then, of course, we got the Italian Cup final against Inter Milan. So, let's proceed to that also. We've just lost a bit of... We've been decreased to our transfer revenue. We're now only of 35% for that. But yeah, we're in, we had a great season, other than not being knocked out of the Champions League. So let's go and play in Napoli in the league. I've gone back to the original 3 1 5 1 formation, just because it's a bit more attacking and a bit more optional. And we have got a lot of injuries. Well, also, yeah, talking about injuries, Higuain and Mandzukic out injured, which is not very good. Higuain should be back before the cup final with two to five days being injured. Uh, and Mandzukic might be able to play for the final, might not be. But yeah, let's go and play against Napoli at the San Paolo. So the lineups are Pepe Reina, Gulam, Mangala, Sheju, Hijaj. Alan, Jorginho, Valditori, or Valfiori, Fiori, we've got Wonder Kid, Gabriel Barbosa up top, Gabi Adini and Hamshik, we're playing Buffon, Chiellini, Benascia, Benucci, Kadira, Pajanic, Marchisio, William Silva, Mertens and Dybala, as Dybala's only actual main fit striker to play, so let's go and play this game. Napoli are on the attack here, passing the ball round the box to Jorginho, Heisage, Gabriel, Jorginho, Gabbiadini, what a player he is, and he scored for Napoli, they're 1-0 up already, Napoli as you can see are third in the league, are battling out with Inter Milan for a second place spot this season, we've got a corner with David Silva to whip on in, Chiellini, couldn't quite direct the header, but Mertens has got it on the edge of the box. David Silva in the box. Die bullet. Two great opportunities. How would you not put the ball in the back of the net? I never know. Chiellini, Kadira though, and we've lost the ball. It's now in Napoli corner. Hamshik to whip one in. Val Fiori, Fiori on the edge of the box. Alan. Gabriel Barbosa. What a save that was from Jan Luigi Buffon. Corner, Hamshik to take notes, Fel Fiori, guy, whatever his name is. Ball's just bounced off Kadira, but it seems to maybe have possibly worked out with Dabala in a bit of space. Switches it to Mertens in a, in plenty of space. Marquezio, ah, oh, could have put the ball across the box. But William has won us a corner from a Mangala clearance. Therese Mertens this time for corner. And it's just missed there by I think it was a David Silva header. Okay, we're on the ball. It's Pajanic, Dabala puts it across. Luan the substitute puts it in the back of the net. Get in there. Basically, Mertens was just basically Mertens was tired, so we've just decided to bring on the Brazilian and our January signing of Luan, and he's just scored. One last chance before full time. It's William Luan across the box, oh, and is it full time? Napoli won, Juventus won. I'll take that. It doesn't really matter what happens now at the end of the season anyway because we've won the league. But it'd just be nice to have a positive end to the season. 
What a great news that is. Jose Mourinho has won the treble with Manchester United, winning the Premier League, the Capital One Cup and the Community Shield, and he's still got the Europa League final and the FA Cup final to come. So they could potentially win five five trophies this season, play against Schalke and Arsenal in them two cup finals. I will definitely update you if they win. So... Benashia's season has come to an end. He's broken his leg and he's out for five to six months, but he will be going back to Bayern Munich anyway at the end of the season because he is only on loan. But with that injury, I, w I would have looked to bring him back, but with that long term injury, I think a return would have to wait for Benashia. Very disappointing, but it's just unfortunate, really. I don't know what to say about it bad news for this season, Watford has been relegated and Malta Masari has got sacked. Meh. I know it's Premier League, but you know. And a lot of other sackings as well due to final league standings. So let's go and find out what our last result of the game is. So that is it for the Serie A this season. We did draw 1-1 and a lot more managerial sackings, but for this time for the Serie A. Moran's been sacked from Chievo, uh, Gian Paolo's been sacked from Sampdoria, uh, Lazio sacking Zaghi, Roma have sacked Spalletti, we got 3.21 million from the winning the Serie A, squad bonus has been paid out, me, and William will miss the cup final because he has got an injury. Where is it? There it is. William has sprained his ankle and he's out for four to five weeks, which means he will miss the cup final because that is in like two days' time. Absolutely well deserved from William as he does claim the Serie A player of the year. Let's speak to him. He absolutely deserves it. He's been one of our best players. As you can see, 38 appearances, 11 goals, 7.9 average rating. Backer has been top goal scorer though on 22 goals. Diabala coming second on 20 goals and Gabbiadini there on 19 goals. High Sage won Young Player of the Year. Honda got quickest goal of the year. And Ivan Zurich, the Genoa manager, has won Ma uh, Serie A Manager of the Year. And it's good to see quite a few players Named in the team of the season, we've got Keelini, Marquez, William Higuain, and Mertens of ours, but also Handanovic, Chabate, Tomovic, Santon, Florenzi, and Jekyll make up the team. Inter win the Fair Play Award. Genoa have been the best team in Serie A apparently as well. Mourinho, Manager of the Year, 38 games won, 71%. What a well done, Mourinho! Well done. But all, another award. Gonzalo Higuain winning Foreign Player of the Year. Get in there, Higuain. Let's speak to him. More awards as well. Uh, Dries Mertens wins Midfielder of the Year. Very nice. Uh, Manchester United did lose the Europa League final, unfortunately. But it doesn't matter if they got to the final. I think it was penalties. They lost on. Yep, they lost 4-3 on penalties to Schalke, who are called Gilesh Kirken. I don't know why they could weird, but yeah, they've still got the FA Cup, so hopefully they can go and win that. But also, now it's our time to play against Inter Milan at the Olympico Stadium. 70,000 capacity, but I don't think there's going to be that many people here. So let's go and hopefully beat Inter Milan and finish the season off with another trophy. But as you can see, we've got to change Benascia. So I'm going to put Bozagli in the team, good experienced defender. And Luan can start for William. So I've actually made a big, big error. I forgot to put Higuain on the bench or in the starting lineup. But hopefully that doesn't come back to haunt us. 
We are playing Buffon, Chiellini, Bozagli, Benucci, Kadira, Marchisio, Pajanic, M Merton, Silva, Luan, Dybala, and Zonzi, Pajaka, Hernanes, Rugani, Neto on the bench. Very few subs. And they're playing Handanovic, Ansaldi, Pawalista, Ranocchia, Nagatomo, Kondogbia, Benega, Brozovic, Perisic, Sane. Wait, what? They got Leroy Sane? What? Oh, okay, it's only on a loan deal from Manchester City. But yeah, that surprised me. Jobatic and Jobatic is also starting. Kandreva's on the bench, Akadi's on the bench. Bit surprised to see that. Meh. Yeah. Got a chance. Sammy Kadira, Marquezio, David Silva running through the middle. Plays the ball to Paolo Dybala. Oh, Handanovic had to make the save there. Corner. David Silva to whip one in. Oof. Nagatomo's dealt with it and he's charging a counter attack for Inter Milan. Not many players are back for us and he's lost the ball. Merton's on the attack. Bow with a throw in to Bajanic. Oh, that's a penalty, surely. Come on. Let's just review that again. That that, that should have been a foul at least. Jovetic going through for Inter Milan. Not a lot of support. Well, there was support with him, but he couldn't find a pass. Merton's Pajanic. Oh, Dybala down the wing in space. No positioning from Milan, but they've got back in position now. Silver, go on. Luan just hit the post. Oh, we're playing great football. Luan. Oh, Dybala can do this. At that, yet, yet again, we, we should have had two penalties this game. How have we not had two penalties? Jovetic through for Inter Milan. Can we close him down? They've hit the post with Perisic shot. 23 minutes gone, nervy times. Buffon with a goal kick forward. It's been given straight to Ivan Perisic, the Croatian international. He's keeping the ball well at his feet. No one can. Luan's not tackling him. Put the ball through to Sane. Buffon had to make a save, or Sane would have scored. Leroy Sane to take this corner with his left foot. Poor corner that was. Wonderfully cleared by our defender. And it's half time. Nil nil. I don't know how there's not been any goals in that first half. It's been a great half for both teams. Plenty of opportunities that probably should have been scored. But they haven't. So let's just go to the second half. And hopefully the performance is the same. Or even better. Straight from kick off. We give the ball to Dybala. He switched it straight to Dries Mertens. Don't know what he was doing with that attempted cross. But Pandanovic with that. Poor goal kick there. chance passing from Inter Milan Perisic to go down the wing switched it to Leroy Sane he's at the post this, this cup final is going to give me a heart attack I tell you but Sane's off Kandreva now it's Nagatomo for Inter Milan to Maro Icardi he's also been subbed on Brozovic Perisic please please defend Benucci, what the bloody hell are you doing? Subs of my own, Luan off for Bajaka and Perzhenic off for Enzonzi. Perisic back to Nagatomo. To Adair, Nagatomo keeping the ball. Want Gary Medal now. Lots of space for Ivan Perisic's game. He's been all over the place. Ball in the box, oh, clear. Kondogbia to Ever, Benega. Perisic close him down please Nagatomo close him down as well fuck too much space open and Mario Cardi has gone through scored a 6th goal of the season and put into Milan 1-0 up it's Gary Medal again it's the Nagatomo this time back post it's all over it's all over 
82 minutes gone and Mario Riccardi, the super sub foot into Milan, has just made it 2-0. Absolutely shocking. We've had too many chances but we've just not scored. And Danovic to take a goal kick. It's pretty much full time. It's go we're going to lose 2-0 in this cup final. We've won two titles. We've won two trophies this season. But it would have been nice to win a treble. Get a bit of extra money. But yeah, we've pre pretty much lost. And can drivers give it to Ansaldi there. But Pajaka couldn't do nothing. I think not playing Higuain and the absence of William due to injury has definitely affected us this game. Keely and he's just going to piss about the back now. We've given the ball away to Benega. Can drivers on it? He's going to make it 3 0. No, Riccardi. Not. We can't get a hat trick. We've practically lost, as you can see, 90th minute. Can drivers for the corner though. Kadir is just going to hoof it upfield because what's the point in even trying now? Unless we can actually get super two super quick goals. Which I don't think that's going to happen when. Balls get played like that, and we've given the ball away. And Zonzi, Silva, Mertens, back to Zonzi. Thirty seconds, we've lost pretty much. Like I've said, we've already lost. We we just can't even get the ball forward in the box. We're just hoofing it up. Okay, can we get a goal at least? No, City falling over. We I think we should have had two penalties though this game. We've not been. At our best, but I do generally think we should have had two penalties with Mertens getting fouled and David Silva getting fouled. But yeah, that is it. We've lost 2 0 in the cup final, and that is the last game that will be played of the season. As you can generally see, we did get dominated on stats 23 shots, 8 on target for Inter Milan. We only had 10 shots on 4 on target, less possession, more fouls, just not a good performance. But good to see Dybala got the most goals in this competition. As you can see there, we have lost. The Juventus did win it two years in a row, but couldn't make it three years, unfortunately. And Inter Milan have been named the champions. And we've got £357,000 from that final for coming runners-up. The end of season awards. The te Our team of the year, best team of the year was Buffon, Kylian, Ibenucci, Benascia, Bozagli. David Silva, William, Marquezio, Mertens, Higuain and Dybala. As you can see, Fans Player of the Year, William with 65% of the votes. Higuain with Goal of the Season. We'll go and check that out in a minute. David Silva, signing of the Season, 26.5 million. Only had him since January, so he's done well to get signing of the Season. Dybala, Young Player of the Season. Stats, Dybala did get 27 goals. William got highest average rating. Got the 26 assists. What? What? Uh, just that's just a lot. But he's a winger, so fair play to him. And Zonzi, highest pass completion. Didn't play him that much though. Mertens were most man of the matches. Chiellini on most yellow and red cards for the team. Let's go review that. Higuain in goal now. Here's the goal over the top to Higuain. He's chested it down. Yeah, it wasn't. The, I think the probably could have been better goals of the season. But the way he just brings it down and scores, I don't think it's too bad. I should say won three 0 in that game. So we've got the end of pre but we've got the end of season meeting. Uh Yep, yeah, that's fair enough. Congratulations on winning the title. It's a great achievement and you all deserve a good break now. Make sure you get back fully rested and in good condition through though because I'm not expecting any less blah blah blah. There we go. Finishing the season on high spirits. Buffon will speak to him. Fair enough to him. My job's very secure even though we didn't do very well in the Champions League. I'm going to do pre-season for 18th for 18 for July 2016 for five weeks. I could do four, but I think five is enough. Because this year we did have quite a lot of games for pre-season. As you can see, because we had to do the Buffon testimonial, where loads of friendlies. We had the super. We had the the testimonial on the Super Cup final, and just so many friendlies that probably could have been avoided but I just suppose it's the way it is. 
So unfortunately our stadium expansion plans have been put on hold because the chairman apparently doesn't have enough money but it's from the manager so it probably makes a bit of sense. So we've got 21 million in the bank. Our facilities have been downgraded as well so not good. Good news Manchester United did win the FA Cup beating Arsenal 2-0. Memphis Depay and, and Herrera scoring. So what a season it has been for Manchester United and Jose Mourinho. Rashford made his debut in that game as well. United set the record for FA Cup wins as well so it was very good. So what a managerial appointment that is for Roma. Laurent Blanc, the Frenchman, has took over as the boss. So it'll be tough next season to play against Roma. As you know, this this season we lost 5-1 to them at the end of the season. Sorry about the game, bugged out. One, let me look at the, all the fixtures. See, as you can see, we lost 5 1 to Roma this season and we drawn 2 2 with them. So, next season is going to be even tougher to face them. So, we've actually been given 28.69 million for the Champions League television revenue, which is give the chairman a bit of money now. So, all very good. So, a bit of transfer rumours going on. Bayern Munich are looking to Carlo Angelotti's Bayern Munich is looking at Miralan Pajanic as you can see he's valued at 32 million so if I do sell him it would be like 50-60 million at least or nothing else than that maybe even more so Steve Bruce has ended up getting the job at Watford Neto has officially left the club so yeah he's gone to Marseille for 7.5 million pounds we made 102 million it's about 91 million so you've actually had a transfer offer for uh, Benucci of twenty one million pounds, but I'm just gonna literally ask for forty million straight up. Oh shit. Forty million pounds. Except Oh my days, I've just accepted Benucci transfer deal for to Manchester United. It's done and dusted. Benucci is on his way to Manchester United for a fee of forty million pounds. We got twenty. We've just made a twenty, almost a twenty-five. Well, I can't even do maths. Uh, you know. So yeah, we've just made a fifteen million pound. We've got fifteen million pound more than his value, as you can see, he's worth twenty-five. So yeah. I know it's a bit bad, we're selling a star player, but for a lot of money, why not? Bit of good news, Kondogby has left Inter Milan, so he's gone to PSG, so that's less pressure off us for next season. Looks like Arsene Wenger has retired. Or left, is left by mutual consent, so unlucky for him. So the board have been given 78.34 million for the Serie A television rights, so our money is back up again. So all very good. We make 35% of the revenue of transfers. So I did say, I did give you the information that Bayern Munich won Pajanic. I've just counter offered like 55 million and they've said 51 million, so I'm just going to let Pajanic go to Bayern Munich. He won't get played, so... Yeah, so we are on. I think Benucci should have left by now. Has he left? No, not quite yet. So it's official. Benucci has left for Manchester United for forty million pounds, hundred twenty thousand pound a week. But we've signed Verdi, Simone Verdi for seven hundred seventy-five thousand pounds. I know he's not the greatest player ever, but he's got all good all-round stats and could play in the top three position. Twenty-three. I think we've got a good bargain for for a player's worth 3.9 million to buy him for the price we did of 775,000 ain't too bad so just before we end the episode uh, Ola Jean we do have two transfer offers ex well, we do have two transfer offers we never played him we bought him for 5 million pound last year he didn't quite make an impact in the first team so I'm just going to sign to Werder Bremen 
and we're going to reject the Munching Gladback stuff. So I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed season one, and hope you all come back for season two. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'm out for this episode. Peace.